know me because I'm a black woman. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. That's because we asked you an hour ago to move. We just asked you to move. Minutes. Can you pull around to the Because front? I'm a black woman. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! What's up, guys? Welcome back. We got TikTok shenanigans. <laughs> Once again, uh, TikTok trucking shenanigans. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What I'm asking you, ma'am, is I asked you to move your truck just a little bit so we so can. So you're refusing to load? No, we're not refusing. It sounds like you're refusing to load if you're asking me to leave, sir. I'm not. You're asking me to leave, so you're not going to unload the truck. I asked you to pull forward. Are you not going to unload the truck today? We're unloading a schedule. Are you not unloading the truck? We're unloading a scheduled delivery. Are you not unloading the truck? I'm here for a delivery. Can you pull around? I the front pull of the where store? he told me to pull. Can you pull around? Are the front you of the not store? going to unload the truck? We are. But there's so somebody, when are you going to unload the truck? As soon as we get done with that power. Okay, so you're so. telling me that you're going to unload another truck that got here after me, before me? They had an appointment. That's yes. what you're saying? They had an appointment. I, I was here. I was. I drove my butt off to get here from last night when after picking up really? the load. Really? Yes, oh, I did. Okay, good. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, so, so I need I, either you're going to refuse it so I can still get paid and I can leave no. or you unload the truck. No, we're not refusing, man. We're just asking you to move forward. You know, it's common courtesy when somebody asks you to do common something. Common courtesy. Is You're our, absolutely, absolutely right. right. If I was yeah. here first, common courtesy is to unload my truck. Absolutely. Actually, Thank you, sir. Can you pull forward, please? I'm sorry you're refusing to pull forward. I'm, you, if you're refusing to load, I will leave. Are you refusing to pull If forward? you are refusing the load, I will leave. This is awesome. Okay, I thank you. This. All right. So, um, do you want us to call the police or your dispatcher? So, yes, obviously they are. They was on the schedule appointment. Obviously, your appointment time might have been different for the appointment that the guy that was already there before you. Now, drivers, I understand that if you get there, it's always good to get there before the time. And maybe you can finagle your way to get unloaded, you know, when you get there. But you got to understand if you're on a schedule or if you have an appointment, then, yeah, you, you might not get unloaded until your appointment time. Obviously, this young lady must have had an appointment time that she's neglecting to say. You know, even though she says she drove her butt off throughout the middle of the night just to get there on time. And the, and the guy that's talking to her is appreciative of that fact. Yes, we appreciate the fact that you, you know, did what you had to do to get here. But you got to understand, we got to do things by appointments. And if the guy that was here before you or got here or let's say you got there and his appointment time was like at the time that you got there and you had a whole different appointment time of course they're going to unload that person first because he had an appointment that he made to be there now unfortunately we don't even know what time about you you know what time you supposed to be there but you just steady being a, a, a rude, caring truck driver right now. Why not just move out the way? Let them do what they need to do with the with the driver that's that's there to get unloaded, and then we can come. We can circle back around to you to see if we can get you in the door so we can accommodate you. That's what I see. That's what I see. But of course, that didn't happen. You used to unload me because I'm a black woman. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. That's because we asked you an hour ago to move. We just asked Five you to move. Minutes. Can you pull around to the Because front? I'm a black woman. If, they, if, they, if I would have been a white guy and got here before, oh y'all would have been unloading my oh truck. My God, That's just crazy. Just pull around That's crazy. Front. Let's put this on fucking live Facebook. Okay, let's see. Can you just move? Can you just move the truck so we can... Oh, We are 
If you refuse we, to load, I will leave. That's word okay. from my dispatcher. Okay. We're hundred percent unloaded on the other truck. All we need you to do is pull around in a circle so the other guy can get out. He's totally empty. So now we can unload you. So could you do that for me, please, ma'am? Ma'am, are you refusing to move your truck for us, please? Ma'am, come on. Just pull around and we'll unload you. You're not even in the right spot to be unloaded. You need to move so we can unload you. Ma'am, look, you're not even at the dock. So we need to have you at least move so we can unload you. Man, can you move? Now she's being stubborn, bro. Now she being stubborn. Like the guy uh that was talking to her, I mean he, you know, he had some he had some like some great patience, man. Like, I mean he he wasn't even like erratic or anything like that he was like look ma'am can you please move like we got the one truck unloaded now we're ready to unload you and she just again just sitting there feeling entitled but in the other part of the video uh, i'm not sure if it was the first one or the second one but he did mention he was like look i got two options for you either move out the way so we can get the other truck out the way and we can get you in the dock or we can call the police now uh of course we don't know what happened afterwards but then again uh this video was about a year year and a half ago a couple of years ago tops it went viral then and is now going viral again drivers let me know what would you guys would have did in this situation what what would you would have did in this situation i mean if you was hurt in this situation and you get to the you get to the shipper you get to the receiver and they tell you because they you know we get told all the time at least i do that and if the people is is courteous to you you know then that's a that's a understandable thing but this young lady right here just just kind of made life difficult for the people over here in my opinion all right what's your opinion drivers what's your thoughts about this what you would have done what you would have done if you was the driver or what you would have done if you was the or you was the guy that was talking let me know in the comments below thinking of a master plan this ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent Dig deeper, still coming up with lint So I start my mission, leave my residence Thinking how could I get some dead presidents I need money, I used to be a stick-up kid So I think of all the devious things I did Used to roll up, this is a hole up Nothing funny, stop smiling, we still